Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So as you know, I was working on this procedurally procedural level generation tool with this spline based procedural level generation tool uh, in previous episodes. So yeah, and today I'm going to uh, improve this like this. So the main shortcoming I had in the previous version was I can place them like this but I can't select individual objects and do modifications but I have I'm going to fix it in this episode so as you can see here when I press this start editing button now I can select these individual objects and do any kind of edit I need if I want I can delete them too rotate them or do any by hand modifications that I want to do that I can't do with the procedural tool and then now these are like these are static meshes but then when I press this finish editing button now again they are converted back to instanced static meshes now they are good for performance and also yeah like before so this is what i am going to do today as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so in this point in this point uh, episode I'm going to figure out why can't I uh, store a valid reference here because not the reason that I can't delete the temporary static measures and restore the instance static measures is because uh, I don't I can't store valid references here so I tried adding a delay and printing them but nothing happens so here what I am doing is I replace the instanced static meshes with static meshes actors and then keep a reference in this edit instances array but for some reason uh, I can't add those references to that the way I confirm that is here after everything is done when I print the length of this edit instances it returns zero let me just show you I have selected well let's select this one first one and I'll press start editing now they all are inst uh, not instanced static meshes they are normal static mesh actors and wait Pay attention to this here you will see the zero here like that so the zero is coming from here the length of this edit instances so why can't I do that well let's do a small test I'll break this one and let's uh, create actor, sorry spawn actor from object let's do this uh, place the actor in 0 0 location I'll select one of the statues use this one and from our store variable and then print the name of this object so if I can successfully save this variable then I should get a valid name here 
let's do an append otherwise if we don't get a name we won't see anything name let me change the color to red and I'll keep it longer okay now let's let's reload the level and rerun the procedural editor right now when I press start editing I should get this statue in the 00 location okay I got it it's here and also the name was printed so maybe okay so that means it does work all right shall we try this for an array as well Let's get this one also and add the same actors, same references. And let's print the length of this one instead of, two, instead of the one we have here Was there can't pass the default value select this one and start editing length is 20 all right so that means hmm. that means uh, I can save into the array that I have created inside this blueprint but not to this one all right so maybe it's a matter of the scope and the access levels and everything I don't know so yeah let's try to find a workaround for this all right so I deleted that array let me delete this one also and let's create a new variable I'll call this one object map it should be in the type of map first one no will this work no I don't think so all right we 
let's create locally the same type the procedural element An array compile all right then limit like this so I can easily identify it add Okay, let's hope this will work. It's becoming a little messy, but bear with me for now. Okay, now instead of adding to that array, let's get reference. to the local one like this and see if it is working rerun this one right start editing now as usual this happened finish editing still nothing happened all right let me check again wait how did I get that print element One more thing in here now instead of this one I should use this procedural elements local compile and also after everything is done I need to clear this shall we see now let me reload the level let's select this one let me rerun the script too I think I have to do that in order to update it okay converted to static meshes All right, finally it is working. Yeah. Now, as you can see, I can't individually select them because they are instanced static meshes. And when I 
edit again I can select them like this so I can delete them also and when I finish editing they are again back to normal meshes all right let's do this for here as well start editing okay we got them now I can do anything I want cool and finish editing okay they are back to normal instanced static meshes cool all right so this is what I wanted to do and finally it's done and I'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and also you can download the source code of the project that I am using here all the blueprints that I create here in my patreon page also I have released a new episode in my third person shooter series feel free to check that as well this is the new episode and see you in the next episode goodbye